Okay, this problem says the object is moving with constant acceleration. Upward. For this case, we can choose this coordinate system, but again, your coordinate system is quite optional. You may prefer to solve it using this coordinate system. Completely, that's completely fine. The results are independent of your chosen coordinate system and sign conventions. But you have to state it clearly. Okay, for this, if you write, this is a two dimensional problem, this is the vector form of Newton's second law, as, and as, we, as we discussed in the lecture, we prefer to write it in terms of the components because the components of the vectors are a scalar and dealing with them is much more easier. Here we have two dimensional case, then we need only x and y components. If you have three dimensional problem, you need to write the z component relationship as well. Okay, first I apply. Okay, first of all, we need to state clearly the coordinate system, then the free body diagram of your object. This is my coordinate system and positive sign conventions. Okay, I have a normal reaction force from the surface to the object, which is normal to the surface. This surface. I have the weight of the object, which is an external force. This angle is 30 as well. Then I have this cable. We know in a single cable the force should be the same, otherwise the cable would be teared or jammed. This is the first one, P, and the second one which applies another P. This angle is 30 degrees or so. What about the friction, the direction of friction? The equation said it's moving upward and we know the friction is always in opposite direction of the motion and this is my friction force direction and it's a motional, sorry, it's a moving object then we need to use kinematic friction which is mu k multiply by the surface reaction force M. Okay, from equilibrium of force in X direction we have P, this is the first horizontal force then which is positive its direction is similar. Then we have for inclined P, the second one, we have two components. For this one we have horizontal component which is P cosine 30 and this one which is P sine 30. These are the components of the second cable force, this one. Okay, the horizontal component of the second cable force is positive as well, P 
cosine 30. Another horizontal force which we have is Fk, which is mu Km. It's minus the, fric the kinetic friction coefficient is given 0 to 5 multiplied by n. Similarly, for the weight, we have two components, the vertical, m, sorry, for mg, the weight. The vertical one is mg cosine 30. The horizontal one is mg sine 30. And this one is negative as well because it, it's in opposite direction of the chosen positive sign direction for x. It's minus mass mg 9.8 and sign 30 degree. equals to mass which is 50 kilogram by acceleration which is given it's 2 Similarly, we can write the equilibrium of forces, not equilibrium, sorry, second law of Newton in vertical direction. Sigma Fy equals to M Ay. Okay, in Y direction we have N which is positive completely we have vertical component of this cable force P sine theta which is positive it's upward vertical component of the weight which is negative minus mg minus 59.81 cosine 30 degree equals to we assume the object doesn't separate from the surface it means we don't have any mo motion or movement in vertical direction. When you don't have any movement in y direction, it means your acceleration is zero. Equals to zero. Okay, this is my first equation. I call it equation one. Comes from the Newton second law in x direction for horizontal forces and second law of Newton for vertical components. If you see I have two unknowns n and p and two equations therefore I can easily solve If I just simplify it again, from equation 1, 1.866p minus 
zero two point five n equals to three hundred forty five and for the equation two zero point five p plus n equals to four two four seven nine. Two equation two unknowns gives you N is equal to 311 Newton and P is equal to 227 Newton. Don't forget the units.